So once payment became due, as I had to make good amount of the obligations. And that's what we are done. The, the regime with you know it bank is almost like the one is left, the payments are all better of being due, but we are expecting this project to be very long term. So that, that's the nature of the we that's how GT Bank comes in the high council. By maybe the next two months, GT Bank will be on the books. All the obligations we go to SIR that we pay GT Bank regularly. Whereas the accounts you know, are in the repair with GT Bank. But again, as I said, the presentation is that uh, two ways are special. There will be an opportunity if it arises for them to convert a credit. So we have a three company that will be very casual and be very attractive to partners, sponsors, etc. Now, total assets as at the end of uh, the year of review was uh, 39 million Ghana cities compared to 27 million at the end of the previous or the preceding year. An increase of 44.79%. That was a 40% increase to liabilities from 83.7 million at the end of the previous year to 117.5 million at the end of the year. And really. This was the result of ongoing projects and, of course, operational costs. So that currently, as of all pays, 150 plus people every month. As well. Every month. And we do that without fail. And uh, as I'm speaking now, we are very direct. You know, we don't go. Uh, I think we are very direct in our control of our independence. You know, which, which is very much more substantial. I think we are going to say much. Which we have to pay by tomorrow. But then that means more loans. So we are funding operations without revenues. We are funding a tax expenditure without revenues. Are we doing the right thing? Yes. The portion of that. The time's ahead. Those of you who, 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 who follow the Africa Tab, so they can do the passes that are animals. And what we have done. And of course, that same cloud that's in between Ghana and Ghana and the world. But I think all the time around us, the infrastructure are so much better. And we are trying to set a pace in Ghana and to do something that will be of a long term when we come back. I lay the solid foundation that we need to create a winning machine that we use. Year to year. So we are indeed extremely excited about uh, our future prospects. So our total shareholders' funds decrease as a consequence of all these losses. Uh, decrease from negative fifty six point five million to negative seventy eight point one million. That is point one percent decline. <laughs> On our common value alliance, that's the alliance between us of all, GIG of N9, and Cincinnati. I want to say that the outlook for our collaboration is great. We have meetings every Friday, and of course, therefore, our last meeting was last Friday. And we define the kind of thing that I want to do. Among others, next month, we're going to visit from the technical departments of Cincinnati and Oppenheim. They will come and look at all my projects, all our facilities, to assess our needs and therefore to define where we are going to be able to do our land. Of course, it's not supposed to be a one way street. 
Dios les pega tu bendición. We also expected if plan uh, is going to plan that the analyzing team of uh, Oakland will be here during the off season to play for our league cycle. Of course, the prospects of the tournament between our three clubs plus divided clubs is also holding high. We expect that. Uh, that uh, pushing moment. So, uh, it all depends upon hard spending. If we are ready, if has team is ready to play here, definitely we should be able to have a tournament in the offseason that will feature over and Cincinnati and other event clubs. So the alliance is special, as I said, and I will remind that we, we collaborate in four areas. One is the knowledge sharing where we want to share with each member of the group everything that everybody has. In our comments, the technology. Some of you will know that one of the most advanced, even the one most advanced, the technology that we saw in them. You know, they are backed by SAP, one of the best representative giants. The majority of them are so, so we have already shared a conference every time we will conduct training, we will conduct marketing and activities, management activities, everything that is we share and that. The knowledge segment. Then we have the talent development, which means we are creating, developing, you know, uh, our footballers from the youngest age to the senior age. And our, our, our program does not limit this type of development to just football. We want to develop more professionals. Okay, so the academics are very important so that our players are able to make the professional and have other people. All those who are having the and other people, and that is why there is that possibility that we can send from our young talents, very, very young ones, to the Cincinnati school, mentally, in the junior side of Cincinnati. So that's our talent development. Okay, covering both players, coaches, and all the things. The third segment for collaboration is what we call the corporate social responsibility. Where we come together to effect relevant corporate interventions in our communities. We feel that more and more and benefit the communities that are available to us. So, open and fourth area is what we call joint ventures, where we we'll, we'll do joint businesses, okay, and the process become available for everyone who is in The joint businesses will be pure businesses from football, and it will also be football brands. So these are the four areas of collaboration that uh, we have been discussing in our last, last meeting last Friday. We advise the need for us to talk so we can begin to realize the fruits of uh, our collaboration. So I'm glad to say that uh, our colleagues have a to visit us next month, technical teams from Cincinnati and Copenhagen, and then subsequently, it's a good thing for the plan, and an IT team from Copenhagen to be in a plan to play with our insights. So that does it for Common Value Rap Alliance. Now, to our board directors. In response to shareholders' expressed desire for the reconstruction of the board that has been in place for many years, the board voted for its solution for its solution at its meeting on February 27, 2024. 
And I would say yes, those calls were were not this. We need to pick up the ball, bring in new new people, new ideas, fresh energy. So this was in response to the general expression uh, desire to see those changes. Now what we did are in compliance with the the requirements of section 171, subsection 1 of the Companies Act 2019 at 992, that a company incorporated after the commencement of this act shall have at least two directors, one of the directors being an ordinary person in Ghana. Okay, that's the requirement. In response to that, we quickly appointed as directors effective from February 28. That's the very next day of the resolution 24. Just so that there's no, uh, it's not the case that there's no director of harassment. Even though on the law, you know, we open for a performance without calling the default before we begin to have penalties. But we added company following the penalty uh, bonus of nominated. We don't have a and our new vice director who are to contribute to show me the whole effort. So, Tobiak the 14th, chairman of Strategic Energy Initiatives Limited, you know, resumed his role as the chairman with Elali Abu Pegama, vice director, being the second director of the club. So we've been holding forth pending the appointment of additional directors, all of whom whose appointments are subject to the job as a And before I continue and to get to the directors, let me take opportunity to uh, thank the previous board for their a wavering commitment to the best interests of our club. Some of them have been on the board from the very beginning of the, the, the has PLC, and has PLC, and has PLC. Some of them have been there from the very beginning, early in 2012. And then joined subsequently. The better, the more work we really had to uh, keep us going in an extremely difficult circumstances. And the second time I've seen the likes of the company, 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 the to give us this work, our contractors, and everything. Of course, at the local scene, we've seen that apart from the uh, as a goal, all the other clubs have gradually sunk into a league. It has been very really difficult circumstances in the past years. We've had about maybe 11, 20 years, but we have 11 leagues in the league, so to speak. We've had the interruptions from the uh, uh, inspired by us, the battles that have been inspired by COVID, and etc. Those have been difficult times. 